box you will have the following. Optional stand, batteries and manuals, IT500, wall mount, ADSL cable, gateway and adapter, wall mount and screws, IT500 receiver. Loosen the screws at the bottom of the receiver unit. Unclip the front of the unit. Fit the back of the receiver unit to the wall using the fittings supplied. Wire up the receiver using one of the schematics on pages 4 and 5. Clip the front of the unit back on by aligning the fittings and pushing into place. Securely screw the front of the receiver in place. Attach the wall mounting bracket to a suitable wall using the fitting supplied and the built-in level. After first ensuring that the bracket is secure, clip the IT500 into place by aligning the recess on the back of the unit to the bracket and clipping into place. Once clipped into place, ensure the unit is securely seated on the bracket. For the desk mounted option, simply clip the clear stand supplied separately into the back of the unit. Plug in the RJ45 cable into the gateway. Now plug in the power cable into the gateway. Add the other end of the RJ45 cable into your router and then plug in the power adapter and turn the switch on. The red light will go green. Remove the battery cover from the base of the IT500 thermostat. Make a note of the serial number printed in the base of the battery compartment. Insert the first battery supplied into the left-hand side of the base, then add the second one to the right-hand side. Ensure the batteries are fitted securely. Replace the battery cover to the base of the IT500 thermostat. Configuring the IT500 to one zone central heating. To change the configuration, press the power button and then hold the cogwheel and the up arrow key at the same time for three seconds. Two houses and the tap will flash. Press the tick and then use the arrow keys to choose which configuration you want. Press the tick to confirm which you want. Press the up or down arrow key to choose either heating or air conditioning. Press tick to confirm. Use the up or down arrow key to choose Fahrenheit or Celsius. Press the tick to confirm. Use the up or down arrow key to enter the time zone difference to GMT. Press the tick to confirm. Press the tick to confirm you want DST on. Configuring the IT500 to two zone central heating. To change the configuration, hold the cogwheel and the up arrow key at the same time for three seconds. Two houses and the tap will flash. Press the tick and then use the arrow keys to choose which configuration you want. Press the tick to confirm. Press the up or down arrow key to choose either heating or air conditioning. Press 
tick to confirm. Use the up or down arrow key to choose Fahrenheit or Celsius. Press the tick to confirm. Use the up or down arrow key to enter the time zone difference to GMT. Press the tick to confirm. Press the tick to confirm you want DST on. Configuring the IT500 to one zone central heating and hot water. To change the configuration, hold the cogwheel and the up arrow key at the same time for three seconds. Two houses and the tap will flash. Press the tick and then use the arrow keys to choose which configuration you want. Press the tick to confirm which you want. Press the up or down arrow key to choose either heating or air conditioning. Press tick to confirm. Use the up or down arrow key to choose Fahrenheit or Celsius. Press the tick to confirm. Use the up or down arrow key to enter the time zone difference to GMT. Press the tick to confirm. Press the tick to confirm you want DST on. Synchronizing the IT500 with the receiver. Using a paper clip, insert into the hole marked SYNC at the bottom of the IT500 RX receiver. Hold the cog and back arrow keys at the same time for 3 seconds. Press the tick key once for the 10 minute countdown to start. When the IT500RX receiver and the IT500 thermostat are paired, then the light will be green. Press the tick again to return to normal screen. IT300 Attach the wall mounting bracket to a suitable wall using the fitting supplied. Remove the battery cover on the back of the IT300 unit. Insert the two AAA batteries supplied into the IT300 unit. Replace the battery cover. Align the grooves on the back of the IT300 unit and slide onto the bracket. Once in place, ensure the unit is securely seated on the bracket. To pair the IT300, insert a paperclip or similar object into the hole on the left-hand side of the IT300 for two seconds. A red light will flash in the top right-hand corner of the IT300. Hold the cog and back arrow key to enter pair mode. Press tick to confirm and leave the units to complete their full 10-minute countdown.